Let's talk about the F word. Fungi. Oh, get your head out of the gutter. You've likely heard about flora and fauna. But what about the third and just as important F? We're talking about fungi. Fungi are neither plants nor animals. They make up their own kingdom altogether. And it's time to recognize them for their critical role in keeping our planet keeping on. Fungi are the interconnectors of nature. They create ecosystems. And without them, uh, plants and animals and animals and bacteria and you know, plants and bacteria don't really connect as much or at all in some cases. They are the great decomposers of the planet. So uh, without fungal activity, then the world would pile up high kilometers deep in the bodies of animals and plants and microbes. Rewild is committed to being mycologically inclusive, and we hope you are too. Fungi have ancient origins, with evidence indicating they first appeared around one billion years ago. What we call plants are really algae that have evolved to farm fungi, and fungi that have evolved to farm algae. Fungi helped uh, the ancestors of plants move out of the water and onto the land. And the whole history of uh, recognizable life on land is a history of fungal relationships with algae. Uh, and this just, just never ceases to amaze me. Types of fungi include yeasts, molds, mushrooms, and lichens. And truth be told, we can't live without them. Fungi sustain almost all the life that we see around us. They sustain almost all the life that we depend on for food, for materials, for medicines. Uh, and indeed, they provide food, materials, and medicines. Many animals depend on fungi as food, including birds, squirrels, slugs, and worms. Plants can't live on soil without symbiotic fungi. Worth repeating, we wouldn't have trees or plants on land, and therefore food, without fungi. Fungi not only can help us address some of the urgent environmental issues that the planet and people are facing, but they can also help us prevent some of those urgent problems from happening in the future. Fungi are powerful capturers of carbon, of the carbon found in soils, which is more than that found in plants and the atmosphere combined. A substantial portion is bound up in tough organic compounds produced by fungi. Some fungi also have the capacity to clean up polluted sites. And of course, there are the chemical accomplishments of fungi that have long shaped our everyday lives. You can thank fungi for bread, cheese, alcohol, soy sauce, penicillin, a whole host of antiviral and anti-cancer compounds, cholesterol-lowering statins, and immunosuppressant drugs that enable organ transplants. Fungi can be used to produce sustainable materials that can replace plastics in many applications. Whenever we grow plants to feed ourselves or grow plants for their materials, we are also growing fungi. And without fungi, these plants would not grow. So in any of our efforts to practice sustainable forestry or sustainable or regenerative agriculture, we are going to be interacting with fungi and we're going to be depending on fungi. So all efforts to feed ourselves uh, ultimately uh, will involve uh, interactions with fungi. At Rewild, we believe it's time for fungi to be recognized within legal conservation frameworks and protected on an equal footing with animals and plants. If we don't conserve fungi, then we are at risk of making all our other efforts to conserve members of the living world futile because so many of these uh, members of the living world depend on fungi. When we're talking about rewilding, essentially plants can't live outside of water without the fungi that live on or in their roots. And therefore they can't establish in the soil and get their nutrients from the soil without those fungi. We cannot rewild the terrestrial part of the planet with trees, for example, unless we make sure that their symbiotic fungi, their mycorrhizal fungi, are in the soil. Team Rewild, are you ready to be mycologically inclusive? Join us.